Hello and welcome to another Dragon PME tutorial. Now, I thought um, today, I thought, okay, let's show everybody Time Machine. Why? Because I managed to get it to work. Well, I've had it working for quite a while, but you know, I just got around to using it. So, Time Machine is in the system preferences, or um, you might have noticed if you have Leopard already, you have this little funny thingamajiggy in the dock. Um, okay, so that's Time Machine there, and obviously you click it to activate it. I don't know if you've um, seen, do you know the widgets where you, you can click it on the desktop? The dashboard, dashboard, right, uh, um, two seconds, I'm just trying to show you what I mean. Um, I should have possibly set it up previously. I thought it was the first result, right, anyway, right, so dashboard will have been like that but obviously I removed it so you see you've got your dashboard and your finder and your time machine these three are kind of like uh, part of the system but I just removed dashboard so really that was a waste of time so anyway right like like the dashboard thing you just click it to activate it like so so I've clicked it and away it goes it's access accessing my um, backup hard drive etc so that's how you um, obviously if you've been watching Steve Jobs and whatever, you'll know that using clicking that will activate Time Machine. So Time Machine, you click it in the system preferences, like so, and you get a load of options. Well, really, there's only three options. On and off, that's one. Change the disk and some kind of like options of what you don't want to back up, drive-wise, not individual files. Uh, in fact, individual files, I'm not sure. So for example, uh, I'll just test it, actually. I don't want to back up my music. Exclude. Yes, you can. Ah, learn something new every day. You can exclude certain files. Maybe if you're making a lot of changes in that file, um, you don't want to back that up, etc. Just click it, add it, um, and it will be removed from the list. Um, any drives that you're uh, not allowed to back up, for example, my Windows partition and Internal Pro partition, are automatically there. You can't remove them. See, no removey. You cannot remove, mainly because on the Windows partition I can't read and write. I don't have permission to do that in OS X. Um, and on the internal pro, that's where I'm backing everything up. So you can't back up a backup of a backup of a backup because that would be like an infinite loop. Like looking in a mirror, which is reflected in a mirror, which is reflected in that mirror, etc. You get a big long tunnel of mirrors. Right, so change disk. See, you have an external hard drive. Um, maybe you have two, two internal hard drives like me. Um, well, C3, just to, you know, make things complex. You can select in between them. Uh, maybe this one's running out of space, or you're going to put it on the next one, etc. Um, so that's that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Change the disk, um, and on and off. That's that's Time Machine. I've finished all the options in Time Machine. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And, oh, remember here, hourly backups for the past 24 hours. So if in the day you were on the computer for four hours, there'd be four backups, um, and then... For the past month, there will be daily backups. So, for example, um, last month, there should be, however many days it were, 34. There should be 34 backups um, during that month. And today, um, there's 12 days of this month, so, so there should be 12 backups so far. And in today, as in in the 12th, 12th um, there should be, um, how many hours have I been on? Um, two hours, so there should be two, uh, two, hour, two backups for today. So... I mean, that's common sense. You can read, can't you? Weekly backups um, until the disk is full. So I've only got 99 gigabytes left. See, it tells you here. And also in the information available, 99 gigabytes. So um, it sounds like my backups are going to run out shortly. Um, back in time, etc. So if you don't want it on, turn it off. If you do want it on, turn it on, etc. Just click and it'll shift. Easy. Right, so it's on. Okay. So, now it's on. Let's pretend I've lost my file. Oh no, I've lost a file on the desktop. It was um, a video. Time machine. And there's my video there. Oh, go back. Back. There's my video. That was the last backup that was done on my desktop. So I've got like videos and stuff actually. Um, yeah. So, voila. That's easy. If, for example, uh, I had something on the first day of backup, uh, like my tutorials and some torrent files or a script that I had, um, you can back them up. So I want to back up 
This mobile phone number. Is it a mobile phone number? I don't know what it is. I want to back it up. What do I do? I can either um, click it and then go down to here and click restore. Um, I think. No, you can't drag it. That would, be, that would be better. Drag and drop to the desktop. Right. So really, you just want to select what you want to restore. So for example, if I want to restore that and Apple click that. So I've got two things selected. This Omni thing. Restore. And it will bring these two files. Um, put them on the desktop. <coughs> And there they are there. Hello. Easy peasy. Uh, that's how it works. And mm, that's a picture I backed up. Well done. I backed it up. Time Machine, I think, this is my opinion of Time Machine. I think it's kind of, it's a great backup system. Like if you want to back up all your files, great, it's done. But I don't think it's, it's very good. Uh, it takes up too much hard drive space because I, I bought this hard drive, which is a 500 gig hard drive or 465 gigabytes um, for my work, etc. But the backup file itself is taken up like, oh, loading here. Um, the backup file itself is taken up. Um, oh, it doesn't tell you. I thought it told you. It's taken up quite a bit. Because. Um, 37 gigabytes, 9 gigabytes, 30, so that's 30, 30 is 60, 7, 68, and then add 10, 78, 78 gigabytes, not even 100 gigabytes, so the, the backup itself must be pretty, pretty big, pretty, pretty big. Uh, you can do the maths, about 300, 300 gig just for a backup of my system, I don't think that's nice. Because I'm not really a person who's prone to losing things, but like I say, I think you, if you're working with documents and things uh, like Word documents rather than videos, like I am, the backup system will be a lot better because you get different backups for different hours, and um, restoring them isn't going to take them take 500 bazillion gigabytes of your hard drive up. So it's a very, very good backup system, um, I suppose, but I don't think it suits me. So thankfully, now I've done this uh, tutorial, I can delete the backup. Um, of Time Machine because I really need that space for my work um, so yeah I hope you've learned something if you've got any questions please post a message below I'm sorry about the bit sketchiness of the tutorial um, I have no excuse really I'm just crap at making tutorials uh, yeah so hope you've learned something and I'll see you next time yes next time on a Dragon Pay Me tutorial goodbye